Adapters make things work with one another. I'm from the UK, so this isn't much good. This is a EU two pin plug. In the UK, we have three pin plugs. However, I have this, which is an adapter, which means that I can plug in this two pin plug and it works with a three pin plug. That's an adapter. We can do the same type of thing with Swift. Here's one way of demonstrating the adapter pattern in Swift. When I make a network request, I use this protocol which returns my request. And that's fine, and most of the time in my code, I'm probably making network requests. But sometimes I might cache in a database represented here. And the problem is my database doesn't do requests, it does fetches. And although it's returning basically the same data, in this case a string, they're not compatible. So I want to make a return request, be it from the network or from the database. So I need the database to use an adapter. And that looks something like this. An extension doesn't change the existing class. We conform to our return request and we're just kind of wrapping this function in our request which is defined by the protocol. Therefore, now both our network and our database conform to return request, so it doesn't matter which one we use. So we can do all the great things like swap out one for another. Um, you could have a mock that also conforms to this return request. In other words, the adapter pattern through the use of this type of extension is a great thing and you want to be doing it. Hope that's of use to you, and indeed we do use the adapter pattern all the time. And I use adapters at home all the time because this in fact is a Nutribullet which I got from Korea, which is why it uses two pin plug even though they use those in Korea. And I didn't go to Korea to get it. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs>